Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Four to Make Your Loco channel. Uh, so real quick, I want to talk about uh, 6R80 transmission leaks. Uh, there's a couple common leak points on there, and there's one that's becoming more and more common as these transmissions age, and it's often misdiagnosed. So let's go over the trans and take a look. All right, let's take a look underneath this 2014 Ford F-150 with the 6R80 transmission in it. So the 6R80 transmission came out in 09 F-150s, and they used it all the way up until 2020. That was the last year this transmission was offered. And then 21 and newer F-150s, it's all 10R80 at that point. So this transmission is actually very reliable, very small issues like both the lead frame, you know, some pass-through sleeve issues, some leak issues, and some software issues. But otherwise, this transmission is very reliable. I've never had to go inside one of these and tear it apart, tear it down for a rebuild in my entire career. So leak points. Let's concentrate on leak points. So the number one leak point on this transmission is the uh, bulkhead sleeve right here. So there's an electrical connector. This is where all electrical comes into the transmission. Okay, let me focus on that. There we go, much better. So there's a sleeve allowing this electrical connector from the outside to lock onto and connect to the molded leaf frame inside. And they like to leak fluid from there. Usually it's just a seepage and it'll gather, gather, come down, down, and it'll come down to here and it'll build along the edge of the pan. So it's often misdiagnosed as a pan leak on there. But number one leak point is that pass-through sleeve. I do have videos on how to change that out to the latest and greatest parts. Number two, I would say, um, leak point on here would be the pan gasket. And this pan gasket is a very robust gasket. Um, but a lot of times people are doing trans services and stuff like that. They over torque these bolts and they ruin it or it gets ruined when they pull it off. So that's when it usually gets damaged and they reuse it and now they have a leak. The new leak point that I'm seeing is from the output shaft seal. So in the four x four models, there still is a regular output shaft seal on there trying to keep all the trans fluid inside the trans. So back in the day on four x four models, like the 4R75E, let's say, the old transmission, the 4R70 series, the back of the transmission was all open and they wanted the fluid to kind of flow back into there, splash around and uh, lubricate the tail shaft bushing in the tail shaft housing. So it was all open in there. And they relied solely on the input seal of the transfer case to keep the fluid from entering the transfer case. What they did, since there's fluid all in here and on the housing of the trans, is they simply used a gasket around the outside and that would seal the two. That would allow fluid to be inside of here and up here at the tail shaft and lubricate it and everything was fine. On these new ones, they're trying to keep it all inside of there. They built the extension housing, which is right here, this section that used to be separate. They built this into the transfer case now and it mates up perfectly with the design of the back of the trans. So there's only a machine surface here and a machine surface here to keep dirt and stuff like that out of there. Otherwise, there should be no fluid in there because there's a tail shaft seal here and there's a seal over here keeping the transfer case fluid inside the transfer case. So when you open it up like this and you see fluid inside of here, obviously, there's a problem. Now what's different here is because there are two seals and inside of here should be clean and dry, that means there's no gasket. So when it comes out, it'll seep out right here where it mates up. It'll only be right here. Okay, that's a fluid. You can see it's leaking out of here. Wicks its way down. It'll come out right here and eventually make its way to the back side of the pan here. Okay. And hopefully it's still like that underneath here. You can see it. So this will mate up to it on the bottom side also, and it'll form drips down here because it's seeping out right here. 
pulling along and it's causing drips. So what happens is a lot of times you bring it to shops and they, they come in and they see moisture here and they see moisture there and they sell you a pan gasket because pan gaskets were, you know, common back in the day on many transmissions, a leak, uh, whereas nowadays it's less and less common and you'll go in, you'll pay for a trans fluid and filter service and a pan gasket and you'll have the same exact leak point on there. So how do you differentiate? Well, you need to know if your pan gasket was installed properly with the torque down properly and if it was new or not. This one I know is new. Uh, the pass through sleeve on here is obviously dry and good to go. I changed that out probably back in 2019 on this one. Okay. The difference is you'll see stuff like this. Let me get you guys a light up in here. So you'll see leak points and moisture like this right here higher up. It's higher up. So when it comes down from higher up like this, it'll wick alongside here. It'll definitely be wet up in here, the very bottom, and even drips, mainly coming out of the connection between the transfer case and the trans, that mating surface. And the same thing over here. So it's a little hard to discern, um, but when I start seeing the drips over here and stuff like that and the moisture that's higher up than the actual pan gasket, uh, then I know that it's actually the tail shaft that is leaking on there. Sure enough, I pulled this one out and I mean, it's pulling up and then it spews all over the backside here. So if you guys are having an issue with your 6R80 having never ending leaks back here, you know you took care of the, the, the bulkhead sleeve, number one leak. Number two is the pan, usually due to misinstallation. And everything like that looks good and is new and you're still having leaks, it's coming from this tail shaft seal. So that's the way the new design is on here and that's why we're seeing this issue. They thought it would never leak and now when it does, it comes right past the machine surface on here because there's no gasket. Now, the only model that I've seen have a gasket on it. Oh, there it goes. Only model that's like this with this, this weirdo design to have a gasket available, I think was the 07 and 08 uh, Expedition with a 6R75. Uh, but otherwise, it's just a machine surface. So once you have a leak, it's gonna be all over back there. Look at this right here, see it? The pan bolts start getting wet, stuff like that. Sure looks like a pan gasket leak when it's coming from above. So that's all guys, I just wanted to make a video on this, to let you guys know there is another source for this and you need to really look at it. Me personally, if I didn't know the history of this truck, I would come in here, degrease everything really well, especially the, the mating surface between the, the transfer case and the trans really well. Go on a short drive, not allowing it to actually splash around inside of here and get whipped around by the wind. That's how you cause mis misdiagnosis issues. I would go for a short enough drive where it would leak, but not whip around in here and, and, and be all wet. And I would come back and I would just concentrate only on that seam in there and see if it has moisture or drip starting. And then I would know that's what's causing it to come down to the pan and cause our leak point. That's all for now. Hope this helped you guys fix your Ford yourself. I'll see you next time, guys.